programming should be simple and performant. That's why we made Dino a zero config, better is included JavaScript runtime with native TypeScript and web standards API support. Running programs in Dino is already faster than in Node, but in 1.43 we've made some updates that improve startup time even more. Now, Dino supports V8 code caching, which makes startup time even faster thanks to more efficient parsing and compiling of JavaScript modules. The compiled code is automatically cached on disk when a module is loaded for the first time, then reused on subsequent loads. The improvement on startup time depends on the size of your JavaScript program, but here are some general benchmarks so you can get a clear idea of the benefits. For very large programs with thousands of functions, Dino 1.43 code caching will improve startup time by nearly half compared to Node. If performance is important to you, you should really consider Dino. Besides speeding up startup times, we made many other performance improvements, especially in our language server protocol. If you're using Dino, we recommend using it with VS Code or any IDE that supports our language server protocol. With it, you get hints, auto-completion, linting, integrated testing, a debugger, and more. In 1.43, we enhanced the performance of Dino in IDEs by reducing auto-completion times from 6 to 8 seconds to under 1 second in large code bases. On top of that, we significantly decreased memory usage. With every release, we are working hard to improve Node and NPM compatibility. In this version, we're thrilled to announce support for Astro and Next.js. If you're curious, these are all the frameworks that we've tested and work with Dino. Finally, the standard library is moving closer to stabilization. Dino STD offers a set of high-quality packages that are audited by the core team and guaranteed to work with Dino. Starting with 1.43, the standard library will be published exclusively to JSR under the STD scope. This move, alongside Dino's new workspaces functionality, is part of the changes coming in Dino version 2, so be sure to subscribe and follow us to keep up with our updates moving forward. If you found this useful, you should probably watch one of these videos next. Until next time, thank you for watching.